So today, finally, we get to work on Beatty, my 75 Superbug. Now, <laughs> I forgot to record, so I've already started doing some stuff off camera, half asleep. Um, but basically, what I want to try and do is knock these bars off, the lights, take off the guards, the boot lid, the, what do you call those things, roof racks. Um, already started in the front section, I've got the, the front lights off, and the blinkers are out, getting ready to pull the front bar, take the, uh, the frump lid off, they call it frunk, the uh, trunk lid thing, whatever, it's a front trunk, so it's a frump, whatever they call it, um, yeah, other lights over there, other blinkers there, so ready to pull out the bar, I was trying to pull it out from the front. Got these two bolts under here, which are extremely hard to get at. And I'm um, scratching my head and scratching my head and scratching my head. And then I noticed that this thing goes right back into the guard. And I looked under here. And I was like, oh, they're a bit easier to get at. Plus, if I take them off there, I'm not going to continuously take my shins out on these things. So. That could be beneficial too, so, um, yeah, we'll take it out there, hopefully. If the bolts want to be nice to me, uh, being as old as the car is, the, um, the bolts, if they're as old as the car, assuming, they're not, uh, being the most cooperative. I've been, uh, using your sh me shift your bastard stuff a bit, so... It's basically a penetrant of sorts. Not that I'm plugging or anything. But yeah, it's happening. We're working on the beetle today. Stay tuned. Alright. Get this in a good spot. Maybe. Oops, wrong way. Yeah, uh, we've got all the bolts undone for the bumper. Hopefully, it'll just slide on out. Hopefully, we won't kill ourselves. Okay. Wants to come out, but unfortunately, I didn't think this through well enough for the wiring for the. They don't seem to be quick disconnect, so if I take them off, I'm going to have to... Hmm. Alright, I'll be back again shortly. Alright, got the uh, bonnet undone. So, and um, then we'll be taking off the guard. things look really cool without the front bumpers but I'm doing it up oh crap I'm doing it up um as original as we can and it's not because I'm trying to keep people happy or whatever else um it's just how I wanted to do this car from the beginning I like modifying cars and doing all sorts of crazy stuff to them, but I, I just really like and respect this car. I don't want to mess with it too much, and I, I figure it's probably worth a bit more money as original as possible. I removed the I removed the horn too. Cute little buddy thing. Anyways, now we're going to take off the 
the guards. I'm gonna tape all this up too so we don't lose it. Because now that it's, I mean, I suppose it doesn't matter. I'm getting all, I'm, I'm gonna get all new ones, but um, yeah. Well, the the, le the lenses are, are very cracked, so I mean, the strictness in Australia won't probably let them pass Rego. So yeah, it is what it is. But for now, you know, I'll look after them, I guess. They throw some tape around them so that they don't keep falling apart. Also to keep the uh, bolts and stuff too. <laughs> So now the you that aren't too aware of how the beetles are set up underneath the guard here, yeah, we can see them. There's a bunch of bolts. You can see one there in the corner. Um, anyways, I can see in the dark there, but. There's a bunch of bolts anyways that hold the the guard on. We'll, uh, we'll uh, hit with some lube and then take them off. Gonna need me trusty light, I think. It may work out that it's easier to take the wheel off to do this, but we'll see. I'll have a crack and um, if it doesn't come off easily, we'll remove the wheel and have another go. I think I can get to most of them pretty well, but um, yeah, I'm going to take the wheels off anyways eventually, I'm taking the whole thing up and removing the wheels and doing the brakes and all the undercarriage and up under the wells and blah blah blah, anyways. One so far. The rest are looking a bit too awkward to get with the with the gun, so I probably have to do it with the just a general ratchet. It's the back lock. That other bloody bump. It is. The 
fun thing about working on these old cars is literally everything gets in your eyes. And she's connected to the she's connected to that side rail too, I didn't realise that before. So we'll have to take that off. Though. I think it's the same size as that. Guns.
one silly bolt to go. And I think we can get that with an extension. And then obviously I won't film the other side, the other guard. There's a bunch of bolts to take off anyways, and then we'll move on to the back of the car. Uh, an Hopefully this little fella will get the job done. Just not quite big enough. And we'll put this bolt back in here too while we remember it. So I have an issue as, as, as well as other people remembering where things go. Lift the guard up a bit too probably helps me. Okay. Where'd you go? Okay. Right up there. Look up. out of the way. Who thought? Okay. Well, hopefully this thing doesn't fall on me. back in a bit. I think the tire is not going to help me in this situation anyways. Alright, the last bolt, the joker, is off. Yeah. get this guard off and get the other side off and then we'll go work on our back guards. So yeah, don't know if you care or not, but the guard's really dirty. 
but I'm not really seeing any rust or anything at this stage. It's clean in the sense that it's it's not rusty. It looks it looks terrible, but it's just this is like the old under stuff is peeling off the under whatever they call it. But um yeah. How, how well you can see all that. I'm pretty happy with it so far and when I jack it up I'll give you a full tour of the undercarriage and that. Um fun 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 thing happened. Took the gear, took the guard off. Let's take this off the tripod for a second. Where are we? So yeah, guard sitting there. Um yeah, I was playing around in here with no, what do you call it, gloves or any protection whatsoever. And we found a bunch of what looked like redback eggs. So I'm glad there weren't any of those little mongrels under there, because that would have been not fun. Anyways, we're giving them a good spray. I think they seem ancient. I can't see any signs of actual life. But, uh, yeah, anyways. All right. First one's off, sitting out there. Just got the second one off. <laughs> I got the. I'm actually not too dirty, I thought it was pretty dirty. That one's a bit worse. Apparently I'm bleeding too, but whatever. This one's a bit better. It's got um, no one uh, scary guests in this one. But unfortunately we found a surprise. This uh, this side of the inner guard, not bad, not bad. This side, not bad, not bad. And then we got that. This stuff here, that's just peeling paint. It's not too bad, but. That there's a bit crunchy. So, looks feel like we've got a bit of welding to do. Fun, fun, fun. Don't want any mice stealing my car. Anyways, uh, we'll worry about that after we pull the car to bits. So, next we're going to tackle these things. The, um, I don't know what you call those things, the side skirts or steps or whatever you want to call them. And then onto the back fenders and back bumper bar and light, rear light, tail lights, etc. Et 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 and the frump and the thing. Anyways, bit by bit, pull it apart, do it properly, well, as properly as we can with what we have. Uh, so, yeah, I've got to call it quits for now. Um, it's just a quick afternoon sort of play we got the whole front end pulled off at least we pulled part from the from the front trip front lid and I notice there's a bit more rust in the guards there that'll need attention um actually it's cool without a bumper and without front guards giving that spot down there a good bit of treatment with some rust prevention not that it's going to make a difference, I'm going to cut it all out soon and weld it up anyways, but, and then I'll hit it again with some more rust prevention, but um, I was wanting to get those skirt, or skirt slash steps off today and the back guards and the roof, everything, but you know, real life gets in the way sometimes, but the kids are screaming at me for dinner. Um, yeah, so... I may put this video out or I may may wait till I've got a bit more content and then put it out as a bigger video. Yeah. So, uh, tomorrow afternoon, I'll get an hour or two maybe on the Beetle. Um, and then we're going to look at a new project. Uh, secret, secret. Should uh, make a few people a bit interested though. It's a fairly iconic car. Um, it def it, uh, yeah, anyways, I won't say too much about that, hopefully that'll uh, 
get a few people excited maybe get a few new subscribers it's not about that though but um yeah um so we're looking at that tomorrow afternoon I'll probably do a little bit of a tour on that and then probably gonna pick it up on Tuesday um yeah <laughs> I've got no space for it but it's it's too good a thing to, it's too good of a car to turn down um but anyways we've got one car for sale so hopefully it'll go shortly yeah to be continued <laughs>